Chuck is asking, um, which telescopic fiberglass pole would you suggest? And um, Ooh, I, I haven't used one in a long time. I don't know. Yeah, 45 says he's got the soda beams, 10 meter mast, and that's a really good one. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill is suggesting spider beam. That's another really good mast. Um, I know that, um, you know, MFJ makes that carbon fiber pole that's supposed to be pretty nice. I haven't really, I haven't really tried. Some of Jay's heavy on the fiber. <laughs> heavy on the fiber for sure. Yep. Um, there is a company called Jackite, J-A-C-K-I-T-E. They make, they, they are, they're actually a, a Jackite. They actually make kites, but they make fiberglass and carbon poles to fly these big, you know, ornamental kind of uh -huh. um, uh, kites. So you can, yeah, they've got like a, um, I don't know what 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 are what are those called? You know the third the thirty foot pole and and whatnot that uh, hoist the kite up. But um, a lot of hams are using those too. That so. sounds like an electrocution just waiting to happen. <laughs> Doesn't it though? About twenty five thousand volts going right through it. I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, Don see yes, twelve meter spider beams from. Um, yeah, the spider beams are good poles. The soda beams are good poles. So it's, um, I'd probably, I'd probably go, you know, go that direction if you're looking, if you're looking for something. But Tariq asks, um, can there be nets done using any radio service or just amateur radio? Um, yes, nets can be run on any radio service. There's nothing that would forbid you to not run a net because a net is just a gathering of a group of people, and then you have one person that's in charge of the of, of maintaining order of, of the communications, your net your net control operator. So Good you could do a net order, but you know, go yeah, for it. <laughs> go for it. So you could do nets on on MU, on the M, MURS band. Uh, you could do nets on GMRS. You could do nets on 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 the family radio service. Yeah, it's it's all open to all of those. Um, I know, you know, actually. Uh, years and years ago when we actually had a react group in town, you know, they would have a net on their GMRS repeaters. Everybody would check in and make sure their equipment works. So mm -hmm. it was, um, yeah, you could, you can do that. So, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter what, you know, what radio service you're on. Just, um, if you got a bunch of people willing to want to get on the frequency and, um, do a round table and, yep. um, have a person in charge, you know, bamo, you got a net. Hey, I've seen lots nuts with less. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Adventures always asked us a question too. Now he's a blind operator and has a question about the window screen antenna. How how do you attach the wires to it so that it functions as a ground radio system? Oh, okay. And um, it's what I well, there's a couple things you can do. What I do is that um, the base that I use for my vertical antenna is is it's it's a metal base and if i set my metal base on top of the screen it does um it, it establishes continuity between the the screen and the base and the antenna and and or the ground side of the antenna so i don't need to attach a wire to it at all um uh but if you're so it's you know if, if you're using like the wolf river coil and they've got you know like the wolf river coil tripod legs and that uh, a lot of people just set that right onto the screen, and um, it'll it'll all work. Um, if you've got a base, you know, if you're using a more standard tripod, you know, like you know, like one of those buddy stick tripods, you you don't you don't get that continuity. So there, I I just made a short piece of wire with a couple of alligator clips on it, and then the one clip goes onto the screen, and then the other clip goes onto the ground side of the antenna. And that will give you the connection for the um, for the ground wires. And Joe is I, holding I, up I'm that holding up a uh, little jumper cable with gator clips here. And basically, mm -hmm. as long as it's not on the actual antenna, the radiating section, or the coil, yep. Any other metal on that uh, Wolf River coil is going to be ground, or is going to Correct. be the, going going back to ground on the, tran the transmitter. So 
uh, whether it's the leg, whether it's the base, you could even clip it to the outside of the SO239 or uh, PL239 or 259. Mm -hmm. 259. Right. Uh, just about anything <laughs> except the actual antenna itself, the actual radiating portion. The radiating part of the antenna, the center pin of the coax, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yep. Yep. So, all right. And um, that, that answers his question. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.